some imagination. Yeah, like quit with those scary tales, will you? Come on, let's get some sleep. on this dusty mirror. It says, the first is gone, the rest will go, unless you leave the island and row, 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 find the Phantom Shadow. Phantom Shadow? Then you were right, Scooby. Uh-huh. I think we better return to our rooms and lock our doors. Fantastic. That dummy looks just like Scooby-Doo. Do you think this plan will work, Freddy? Sure. I left the door unlocked. So when the Phantom Shadow comes in to grab the dummy of Scooby, we'll all grab him. All oh, but Shaggy and Scooby. They've decided to play it safe and watch this show from outside on the drain. Wait a minute. All these creatures in the real world turned out to be just people in costumes. Velma's right. They were all fakes. Nice try, Phantom Virus, but you can't fool us. <laughs> Tough time with the mask, guys. Please wheel. <laughs> in a good place, you should have said something. Ah! Where did that come from? These fun houses have all sorts of trap doors. Let's keep an eye open for more. Oh, no! What's wrong? 
Oh, look how fat I am. Oh, it's just a trick mirror. You look perfect. Oh, thanks. You too. Keep away from us. What do we do? Like sitting in hot tubs, eating barbecue, and helping science? This is the greatest trip ever. And it's 100% non-scary. I don't even remember what it's like to be scared. <laughs> an Apalachiosaurus, only glowing and not extinct. Come on! mess with my friends. like we have a mystery on our hands. In that case, can we scrape that paint off the van? I'm getting sick of riding around in the mustard machine. Zoinks! <laughs> 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 Look at that creep! He's after Daphne! Run, Daphne, run! Don't worry, I'm running! <laughs> Shaggy, we've got to get across that moat. I'll lasso that statue over the door, and you and Scooby can swing over and lower the drawbridge. We can? Oh, uh, bridge. You've got to do it to save Daphne. Okay, no. let it go. Hang on, Scooby. <laughs> You missed me! They made it! You stand guard while I figure out how to lower the drawbridge. <laughs> I got it! You have to pull out this locking bar. Hey, stop that clowning around, Scooby. <laughs> A werewolf! Hold this, friend! Scooby-Doo, where are you? <laughs> hey, Scooby, we got...
gotta hide. I'll hide up on that window ledge, and you hop in the piano. Gotcha. <laughs> Time for a little ventriloquism. Where you going, fuzzy face? <laughs> Give it to him again. You must be the big bad wolf. Oh, right, we we had a wish. must be pretty strong. Look, Fred, claw marks. Got a set of footprints here. Dromosaurus theopod of the mongoline species. A velociraptor. And more than one, judging from this mess. What would velociraptors want with holographic equipment? They're still here. We should... Shh! Lights off. <gasps> Definitely. As our procession exits, let's welcome our first Bronco rider, Norville Rogers! Hey, 
Hey, Scoob! Let's give a big hand for him. Did you talk to the horse? Ooh, hi, Saggy. Great! Thanks, bud! Yay! 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 <laughs> Look at Scooby showing off. <laughs> Wait. If Scooby's been out there the whole time... He hasn't talked to Shaggy's Bronco yet. Jinkies! Shaggy is done for! Shaggy! No! Our Bronco Rider Stop! Don't do it! Grand prize. Let's show him our support. <gasps> Shaggy, wait for me! Shaggy! Shaggy! Don't do it! <laughs> Look at him, cheering me on. Like, it's great to have such good friends. You know what we call this horse? Buttercup? The Widowmaker. If Scooby didn't talk to that okay. horse. Yep, he's really doing it. Wow. Oh, hey. I knew you could do it, cousin. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that a boy. <laughs> Whoever created this virus is in serious trouble. Our civilization is so dependent on technology that this virus is a threat to the entire world. Can you show us how this laser works? You can show them the demo, but don't stop the game. Yes, sir. Check it out! <laughs> we're digital! Well, we're original. <laughs> we use the game to extrapolate 3D data into quantum particles. From there, it's child's play to reintegrate the molecular structure in virtual space. Of course, it's so simple. It is? He used the Scooby game as the location in cyberspace to store physical objects. And you're sure the virus came from the game? Unfortunately, yes. Well, there's no virus in my baseball game, and it's more entertaining. Now this is a game you can get into. That's really cool, Bill. I'm a huge baseball fan myself. You have good taste, Fred. I think it's the greatest sport in the world. Baseball's okay, but it doesn't have Scooby and me in it. That's right. The Scooby game has 10 levels. You need to battle monsters or villains while trying to find a box of Scooby Snacks on each level. Oh, boy. Scooby Wax. Okay, Professor. Oh. Now check out the monitor. Cool. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. Like I don't believe it either. We didn't even get one Scooby snack. <sighs> well. Eric and Bill are sure to win the quarter million dollar grand prize at the International Science Fair. Wow, that's some prize. It will be a reward for all their talent and hard work on the laser project. We couldn't have done this without you, Professor Kaufman. You should share in the reward too. No, no, no. As a teacher, being able to guide young minds to their full potential is reward enough, Eric. 
Uh, like, speaking of rewards, is it possible to get the Scooby Snacks out of the game? Get it? Wait, wait, wait! Only the bravest hero should retrieve it. Oh, all right. Tom Scooby, do you mind? That's okay. Thanks for the hand. Zoinks! <laughs> yep, that's me, Shaggy Rogers, the bravest of heroes. Huh? <gasps> Shaggy, we have a visitor. Then, like, why is nobody saying hello? <laughs> uh-huh, bravest of heroes. So, that's the Banshee? She doesn't look scary. Yeah, she looks kind of pretty. It's his tummy! <laughs> <laughs> Like 
This must be where they store their Halloween decorations. Huh. Hey, Scoob, how many times have we run into goons like this? And I would have got away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling kids. <laughs> <laughs> and your dog, too. <clears throat> <laughs> What are you doing in here? I, uh, we were just, uh... No one is allowed in this room. Not students, not visitors, and especially not flea bags. Oh. <laughs> Just me. That was scary. <laughs> Tallest mountain in the world, and home to the abominable snowman. So you're really going through with this? But of course, I am Alphonse Lafleur, the world's greatest hunter. Now I come in search of the world's greatest prize. But I thought the abominable snowman is just a myth. How do you catch a monster that may not even exist? Ah, mon frère. <laughs> With a bait no monster can resist. Hmm? Sacre bleu. What can they want now? Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Bonjour, mes amis. And thank you for flying Alphonse Le Fleur's Le Monde Grand Tours. We are going to be landing very shortly. Boy, are we glad to hear that. Like my stomach is already coming in for a three-snack landing. <laughs> <laughs> Quel surprise. You have eaten everything? Almost. Like I'm still saving the last slice of peanut butter and pineapple pizza in case of an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the pooch is still hungry, no? We have lots of yummy goodies waiting for you in the VIP lounge. This is the VIP lounge? Oui, monsieur. You are on the package tour, no? I didn't know that that meant we were the package. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Scoob. Like I think we've just been bumped from first class to worst class. Oh. <laughs> 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 Like now we know how it feels to be lost luggage. As if things weren't bad enough. Now my ears are ringing. Reggie, no phone, no phone. Hey, my cell phone. Like world's worst vacation ever, Shaggy speaking. Shaggy? I can barely hear you. Where are you guys? Hang on, Freddy. Like, I think Scoob and I are about to go from frequent flyers to frequent criers.
she's on the other side. Again. The staff? Like you shall not pass, man. It worked. <laughs> it didn't work. We're done for. Yet. Let him have it. <laughs> the smoke bomb. I heard some noise down here. What are you kids doing? This basement is for staff only. We're hunting for the phantom virus. Yeah, I heard about this so-called virus. I think it's some kind of college prank. Oh, no, no, Officer Wembley. You see, we... You kids are coming with me back to Kaufman's lab. Can you believe the cafeteria ran out of food? And we're still hungry. Yeah, wrongly. I think I saw a vending machine down the hall. What is it, Scoob? Oh, hello, Mr. Phantom. Thank you for volunteering for our experiment, Mr. Virus. Nurse, take the patient over to the table. Okay. Which way, please? We down. Just relax. Hmm? Now, can you tell us how many layers are in an ideal club sandwich? <laughs> Time's up. The correct answer is never enough. <laughs> Let's try one more. When's the best time to enjoy a milkshake with your french fries? <clears throat> Time's up. The answer is any time. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs>
Ago. Whatever! That's when I was the other guy! You know, the brave one! I don't know much about hypnosis, Shaggy, but I know one thing. It cannot make you do things you couldn't do without it. All that stuff you did when you were brave, that was you! It's inside you! You just have to let it out! <laughs> like, give me a movie line! What? Okay. Um, I need one of those movie line thingies! to say before I jump. Uh, okay, uh, how about when you say jump, I say how high? Fred, that doesn't make any sense. Does it matter? All right. <laughs> huh? When you say jump, I say how high? was the only other exit. Well, I figured if anyone could find their way out, it'd be you. <laughs> We've been camped out here all night. Uh, I made beans if you want some. Hey, you guys have any rope? That the last one? Uh-huh. That's what she'd figure. <laughs> now here's my plan, Shaggy. 
All you and Scooby have to do is to find the caveman and let him chase you through that doorway. And when you do, we simply drop the net on him. Like what safer way to sneak up on an old gruesome than disguised as a couple of fish? <laughs> <laughs> Lafleur, the greatest hunter in all the world. And we're just monster bait to help you catch that ice cold Cretan. Yeah, monster bait. Zoinks! Ha ha ha! At last, the creature, he is here. And like we're gone, man, real gone. <laughs> That's weird. 
I thought we left the dark side of the moon. Totally sorry, Mr. U-Boat, but that alien was chasing us! Really? You must have been scared. Scared? Oh, oh, um, like why would you think that? Like to be alone with the pizza. Okay, dokie. Um, we can wrap up the leftovers for you. Leftovers? I'd just like to say that it's an honor to be in your presence. Like I'm sure it is. <laughs> Lada. She's on Talent Star, and she's already won a bunch of other talent shows. She was great on America's Got Singing and Sing or Die and Singity Sing Song Sing. Mm -mm. I do not sign for anyone wearing tights and shorts because it's wrong. Yeah, yeah, you better run. Leave us. I want you to take a message to Daphne and Fred. Tell them they don't stand a chance. I will crush all who oppose me. I will feast upon their blood. Their families will weep over their smoldering corpses. I will leave nothing but their scarves. So swears Lata. 
like a mystery to me, and I think that's just a little more important than school. Fred, when did you install a periscope in a mystery machine? Probably right around the time he was installing a trap in my dining room. What else aren't you telling us, Fred? Nothing, Daphne, I swear. Whatever. Where's my lip gloss? Daphne, wait, no! <laughs> I guess there was one other thing I didn't tell you. <laughs> to the mystery machine! <laughs> Shaggy's grandma drives faster. I'm not driving slowly. It's called being cautious. Did you know that 33% of all accidents happen when you're just minutes away from your house? Like we've been minutes away from your house for the last hour! This upholstery still has my Daphne sweet scent on it. Oh, Daphne. Why? Why? Oh, brother. Scooby! Now! It was all a part of Fred's well-planned attack. I rigged up this standard Fitzheimer remote control in your mom's car, so we'd be able to attack the Kriegstaffa bots without putting my Daphne in harm's way. Oh, and you too, Velma. Be still, my... That, my canine friend, is the big greasy question. Zoinks! <laughs> Please, I'm begging you not to drill. The oil will kill thousands of helpless sea creatures, which... I think you kind of are, right? Oh, this is terrible! We have to stop that drill! Maybe I can help. A mermaid? Amy! Amy? You know her? Okay. Yes. She was my source. But she's my secret special friend, so don't any of you think about stealing her. That was awkward. Dr. Kavanaugh, where's the off switch for that drill? Uh, it's on the drill. That wasn't smart. Yeah, I was never much of a details man. Unfortunately, I damaged my tail pretty bad dragging myself up those steps or I'd go after it. I recall you two bragging about how long you can hold your breath. Like that only applies when we're gulping massive amounts of chow. Yeah, chow. Shaggy, Scooby. But what about the fish freaks? They're like down there. That's the best part. Once you turn off the drill, they'll chase you back up here right into one of my traps. Right. I get it. Once again, we're bait. Exactly. exactly. 
Couldn't we wait till the water warms up? Get in the water. Right. <gasps> now, let's trap some fish freaks. Ready? Well, not one of my fancier traps, but I think there's a certain beauty in its... Yeah. You're just not pulling hard enough. Okay, Mr. Macho. Why don't you try it? Sure. Hold this, Shag. <laughs> Either hold it still or give it to Daphne. It's the gardener! No! It's the fisherman! No! It's the ferryman! Oh! Maybe it's... real! Thank you. Oh. 